Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle uh, today the weather in the UK um, it's dry but um, and it's not windy um, but it is cloudy um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe um, hi my name is Rebecca um, I love talking about uh, travel and lifestyle and today I'm going to be doing a Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts October 2021 Part 3. So I'm going to fire away with the five fabulous facts and kicking off uh, with number one at cnn.com. Um, says how the UK became bottom of the European uh, tourism sector has crashed due to the combination of the pandemic and political problems I can understand that um, people obviously not wanting to come to the UK because of the pa pandemic and political problems no, um, Again, I hope it gets better for the future. Number two, BBC News says COVID booster does um, and will be um, offered to the over 40s. All over 40s in the UK will be offered a third dose of the COVID vaccine after for, um, advice from the government scientists the move uh, would top up the protection and help limit the spread of the virus over the winter um, which obviously is a really good thing there the three doses will cut the risk of infection by more than 93 uh, percent according to the new data from the UK Health Services Agency and he said um, third dose would probably make far foreign travel easier and there were plans to add it to the NHS at COVID travel pass um, as well. Uh, this should be offered at six months after the second dose. The Prime Minister Boris Johnson says uh, nothing in the data to suggest a lockdown or plan B was needed at the moment despite the storm of um, gathering in Europe of COVID cases uh, where the cases are climbing and um, again in my opinion um, everybody needs to be careful and if uh, you can get uh, the um the COVID um booster um especially if you're over 40 then I would definitely do it um especially if you're wanting to travel abroad and also for extra protection in this country number three the independent um can I travel to Austria the latest restrictions and advice as um, a partial lockdown is imposed in the country Austria will accept the UK proof of COVID recovery and vaccination record if you are traveling with a printed PF, a PDF proof of a vaccination um, Austria has introduced severe restrictions for unvaccinated people following a spike of new COVID cases um, around 2 million um, after yet to be fully vaccinated have been uh, put under lockdown as uh, Monday the 15th of November only uh, permitted to leave um, for a slim number of reasons such as food shopping and work so basically essential um stuff unfortunately um, but i hope these people get vaccinated and can leave for other reasons uh, moving on to number four um the financial times post brexit immigration rules lead to collapse of eu school trips uh, to the uk again it's understandable um obviously with the politics and everything and covid last but not least bbc news and um, 
the UK village that has lost its cheese now um, an award-winning uh, dairy putting cheddar in England back on the map um, cheddar is uh, the most popular cheese in the UK um, accounting for nearly half of British cheese sales and according to recent polls um, it is a, a favourite among the Americans and the Australians and also uh, the Canadians too. Wow, that's a fabulous fact. And cheddar cheese actually uh, comes uh, from Wales. Um, so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I'll see you tomorrow um, for a, a video um, which is a budget travel special um, I hope you have um, a good day and night I love you all you all mean the world to me and thank you and bye for now thank you bye